Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we are going to solve the following problem in two ways. When x plus y equals 1 and xy equals minus 1, find the values of first x squared plus y squared, x cubed plus y cubed, x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4, all the way up to x to the power of 10 plus y to the power of 10. Now, there can be more than two methods to solve this problem, but I will just present you two most famous methods. In method one, we only use polynomial multiplication and no other concepts. And we start with very basic and famous ones, x plus y squared, which is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. From here, if we move 2xy to the other side, we have x squared plus y squared equals x plus y squared minus 2xy. So using these values, we have 1 squared minus 2 times minus 1, which is 3. So that's the power 2. Now for the sum of cubes, we use the formula x plus y cubed equals x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed, which can be written as x cubed plus y cubed plus this part becomes 3xy times x plus y. Therefore, x cubed plus y cubed is given as x plus y cubed minus 3xy x plus y. So we have 1 cubed minus 3 minus 1, 1, which is 4. And that's the sum of cubes. And for the power of 4, we use x squared plus y squared squared is x to the power 4 plus 2x squared y squared plus y to the power 4. Therefore, x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equals x squared plus y squared squared minus 2xy squared. And we have already obtained that this value is 3. So we have 3 squared minus 2 minus 1 squared. So we have 7. Next, the power of 5. Here, notice that x to the 5 and y to the 5 terms appear when we expand x squared plus y squared times x cubed plus y cubed, which gives x to the power 5 plus x squared y cubed plus x cubed y squared plus y to the power 5, which gives x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5, and this part can be written as x squared y squared times x plus y. Therefore, x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 can be calculated as x squared plus y squared times x cubed plus y cubed minus xy squared x plus y. And this is 3 and this is 4 we have already obtained. And we have minus 1 here and 1 here. So we have 3 times 4 minus minus 1 squared times 1, which is 11. And that was the sum of the power of 5. For the power of 6, we use the square formula for x cubed plus y cubed. So here we have to subtract 2 times x cubed y cubed. And this value was 4, so we have 4 squared minus 2 times minus 1 cubed, so we obtain 18. For the power of 7, we use the expansion of x cubed plus y cubed times x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4, which gives x to the power of 7 plus x cubed times y to the power 4 plus x to the power of 4 times y cubed plus y to the power of 7. So x to the 7 plus y to the 7 plus this middle part can be written as x cubed y cubed times x plus y. Therefore, x to the power of 7 plus y to the power of 7 is this minus xy cubed x plus y. Using the previously obtained values, we have 4 times 7 minus minus 1 cubed times 1, so we have 29. For the power of 8, it is x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 squared minus 2x to the 4y to the 4, so it is 7 squared minus 2 minus 1 to the power of 4, so we have 47. For the power of 9, we use the fact that it is cube of x cubed plus 
cube of y cubed. So we use the cube formula. So we have x cubed plus y cubed cubed minus 3x cubed y cubed x cubed plus y cubed. And using the previously obtained value of x cubed plus y cubed, we have 4 cubed minus 3 minus 1 cubed times 4, which is 76. And finally, for the power of 10, we use the square of the power of 5. So we have this minus 2x to the power of 5 times y to the power of 5. And this value was obtained as 11. So we have 11 squared minus 2 minus 1 to the power of 5, which is 123. So we have obtained everything. For the second method, we are going to derive a recurrence relation. That means for natural numbers n, let i n as x to the power of n plus y to the power of n. Then notice that x to the power of n plus 1 plus y to the power of n plus 1 appears in the expansion of x to the n plus y to the n times x plus y. So by expanding, we obtain x to the power of n plus 1 plus y to the power of n plus 1 plus x to the power of n y plus x y to the power of n. So we have i n here and i n plus 1 here. So we have x plus y i n equals i n plus 1 plus this part can be written as x y times x to the power of n minus 1 plus y to the power of n minus 1, which is i n minus 1. Therefore, i n plus 1 equals x plus y i n minus x y i n minus 1. So this is our recurrence relation. And if we define i0 as x to the power of 0 plus y to the power of 0, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2, then this relation actually holds for all natural numbers n. Now, for our special case of x plus y equals 1 and x y equals minus 1, the recurrence relation becomes i n plus 1 equals i n plus i n minus 1. And we have i0 equals 2 and i1 equals 1. So using this relation, we can simply calculate i2 equals i1 plus i0. So 1 plus 2, so we have 3 and so on. So i3 equals i2 plus i1, so 3 plus 1, so we have 4, and i4 as 4 plus 3, so 7, and you can see that we can go on and on. And these are the answers. Now, some of you might wonder, what is the general expression for i n? Well, in order to solve this recurrence relation, we require more math stuff such as characteristic equation, which I think is too advanced topic for this video. So hopefully I cover that topic someday in the future. Also, if you enjoyed this, check my other video where I factorize x squared minus y squared, x cubed minus y cubed, so on, all the way up to x to the power of 12 minus y to the power of 12. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another video.